Hi everyone and a welcome in. It's a Monkey Mar. Before we get into today's video, please make sure you click that subscribe button, the bell for notifications, and of course the like. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. Have you seen me? Susan Morphew. If I lived in Colorado, I would not drink the water. I do not know what is going on, but between Chris Watts, Patrick Frazee, Letitia Evil, and now we have another missing Colorado mom who failed to return Sunday after leaving for a ride near County Road 225 and Highway 50, according to a Facebook page established to spread the word about her disappearance. Suzanne Morphew, 49, just went for a bike ride and she never returned. So I am going to touch on what has been found and what's known and then we are going to have to get nosy and look into her husband because I have to know because we all know or think that it's probably the husband or like the hire for murder the Dr. Seavers case in Naples Florida okay so let's get into a few of these articles and then we will go get nosy I'm going to make this a quickie alright let's start over take 28 okay so we know Suzanne went missing on Mother's Day 2000 and 20 after leaving for a bike ride near County Road 225 and Highway 50 so investigators haven't ruled out any possibility including an accident or foul play he said a family member told CBS 4 that Suzanne's husband was in Denver when the wife was reported missing yeah okay the case has garnered national and even international attention with the coverage by major U.S. networks and even the U.K.'s Daily Mail. Suzanne and her husband, Barry, have owned the home for two years, and Barry Morphew is a volunteer firefighter in the community. He posted $100,000 in reward money, which has been doubled by a family friend to 200000 we want to do whatever it takes to get her back. Nephew Trevor Knoll told CBS. Yeah, we're going to have to look into him too. Okay, so we know she went for the bike ride. She never returned. The neighbor called the police because she never came back. That's definitely a good nosy neighbor, huh? Knows what's going on in the community. Okay, so let's go in order of what's going on so investigators find a personal item during search for Colorado woman I don't know if it's one item I don't know if it's two items I don't know if it's three I did hear a rumor the bike was found I do not know I am not gonna speculate I am gonna wait for the facts but authorities are searching rugged terrain after they found a personal item they believe belongs to a Colorado woman who went missing on Mother's Day. Susan Morphew, 49, vanished Sunday after going cycling in the area of County Road 225 and Highway West Highway 50 near Maysville, Colorado. Nearly 90 investigators have spent days looking for her using drones, scent dogs, and flyover missions. On Thursday, they found what could be her item. Chaffee County Sheriff's Office said Friday in a statement, it did not say what the item was or where it was found. While investigators aren't releasing details about what may have been found, they can confirm that Miss Morphew has not yet been located to date, the sheriff's office said. So that might be a typo. I don't know why it's not Mrs. Morphew, but maybe a typo. I look too much into things. Okay. Local, state, and federal investigators are searching steep and rugged terrain to find any additional items, authorities said. 
there's a $200,000 reward for information on her whereabouts. The FBI has set up a dedicated tip line, and I'm going to drop all that information, like you know, down below in the description. So let's move on to the next part. Okay, what are your thoughts on the husband? I know a few people are talking about his bad temper and something about a congressman or I'm not sure I'm going to have to look into it but I'm not going on anything but facts and I am going to look into him next but Morphew and her husband Barry have owned the home for two years. Barry Morphew is a volunteer firefighter in the community. He posted a $100,000 in reward money which has been doubled by a family friend to 200,000 we want to do whatever it takes to get her back nephew Trevor Noel told CBS 4 so who is Barry and let's go have yep let's go guys let's go get nosy and we'll probably end up going on a little road trip too right here where my mouse is I don't want to click it because then the address will come up this is where she lived she was seen riding her bike or she was going for a bike ride I'm not sure of the exact details highway 225 highway 50 so right about here and she was she lived right here so now we don't know did she come out of her house and take this trail and come up there or did she come through the driveway and come up there and this is the neighbor who saw her or maybe this neighbor because there are one two even if this is a house it looks like maybe a shed one two three four all right four neighbors that's basically it in the middle of nowhere okay so that's the route. I'm not sure which way she went. I'm not sure what kind of bike she was on. A mountain bike, maybe. Maybe there is a trail. That, oh, another house right here. Wait, five houses. You know, they're very well. Well, there's a river too, so I don't know. I cannot answer that for you. All I can say is that they lived right here. I went and did some investigating on the husband. Uh, something interesting I did find. I can't find the criminal background. Okay, here is the husband that I found. And after I go through this real quick, I am going to wrap up this video. But then I am going to look a little further into a couple of things. And I will put out a part two. So on here, Barry Morphew. 52 Salida Colorado this is like I don't know the address I showed you the house is like right down the road from where she was last seen but I do want to take a ride on that road but I'll do that at the very end because I am curious to see the terrain so how ironic like I said I can't find any criminal records on this guy he's got a couple judgments but what I did find interesting is when you go to his work and business, Sunset Farms, Sunset Farms, Sunset Tree Farms, Youscape It, BLM Enterprises, Pikia Farms, BLM Landscaping, but this one. And he filed these 2012. The Susan R. Morphew Hope Foundation Incorporated. And this is a foundation, go through domestic nonprofit corporation. 2012. 2020, February. A few months ago. Susan R. Morphew Hope Foundation. Registered agent Barry Lee Morphew. So she's no longer the registered agent because she was in 2012. 
as you can see right here. I don't know who this is. I don't know. We're going to have to look, but I found that interesting. Criminal Zero. He's got a few traffic court. I don't know what the deal is here back in 2012. I don't think I care, but how ironic, right? How ironic that he is running a domestic violence non profit organization guys I don't even know what to think I'm not sure where this is going to go but I'm thinking the hubby is definitely sitting on my radar but that's my opinion but you never know because maybe he is a great guy and he is running a domestic violence nonprofit organization and maybe the man who is running for the politician politics whatever that group is he's doing is full of crap I do not know I guess we are going to have to wait investigate get nosy and see what else unfolds let's take this ride real quick I want to see the road that she was on because she lived right here We've got the river. I'm not sure if it's dried up or how she came across. But I want to see what it looks like down here on the road. Because you definitely cannot see the houses from the road. And you can't get back on Highway 50. And that Highway 50 is coming up. And it definitely had to have been during the day because I bet you that it is pitch black out here at night. So this is where she was last seen. And where is that road that came out? It was right about here, Highway 50. Right by the trailhead. Right about here where Highway 50 comes out. Right here. But you can't get down that road. And then it goes back and around to where she gets back up into her house. Alright guys, well, that is definitely a wrap. And like before, I said I will continue to look into this and make a little part two. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching. Please like or dislike whichever you prefer. And a subscribe. Everyone stay safe from COVID-19 and have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay vigilant.